When you're designing an integration, you may need to process a collection of files, or records, or repeating data elements. To do that, you can use a for each action. Let's take a look at a couple of examples. In this integration, we're using an FTP adapter to retrieve a zip file and to unzip its contents to a local directory. We need to process those unzipped files one at a time. And then, within each file, we need to process each record one at a time. So we'll use a pair of for each actions, one for the files and one for the records. First, we add a for each action to handle the files right after the FTP adapter has brought in the zip file and unzipped its contents. After we give the action a name, we specify the repeating element. Because we're processing a group of files, we need to point to the files. The tree on the left side of the wizard gives us access to the variables and the values that are part of the integration. We drill down into the File Download Response field and point that reference to the current file. The XSLT reference is added. Next, we give our looping variable a name. We'll be able to reference the current iteration of the loop by that name in any downstream mapping actions. Finally, we have the choice to process the loop iteration sequentially, or, if we check the box, in parallel. Parallel execution can speed things up, but the iterations may not be processed in sequential order. So if sequential handling of the incoming files is important, you wouldn't want to select parallel processing. Our for each has a name, a reference to the files to process, and a named variable. And that's all we need to process our files. And now we said in our example, we want to process the contents of those files. So we're going to process each record individually. That calls for a second for each action. We add the new for each inside the one we just configured. So now we have a nested for each. And to configure it, we follow the same basic steps. We name the action, define the repeating element, and name the current element. We talk about some of the other elements of the integration in other conversations. But for now, our for each actions are defined and ready to go.